Season of Easter, my dear friends, season of Easter, season of Easter. If you lost a loved one between last Easter and this Easter, if you lost a loved one back in May, June, July, August, September, and you had a service for that individual or you had a memorial service for them a couple of months after they went to heaven, guess what you were celebrating? You were celebrating Easter. It wasn't just the date on the calendar there in April that says this is Easter Sunday. You were celebrating it at that moment because in the midst of your grief, in the midst of your tears, in the midst of your anguish, in the midst of your loneliness, you were reminded that Jesus not only died on that cross for your loved one's salvation, but he rose from the dead. And the first words out of his mouth were, because I live, ye shall live also. We just don't celebrate Easter on the day designated on the calendar as Easter Sunday. We celebrate it whenever we bump into the sorrow and loneliness that death brings. And then we say, my loved one is safe in heaven. And that divine physician known as Jesus he is doing what David said he does. He's walking with me in the valley of the shadow of death. That shadow can last a long time. My dear son, Jonathan, he has been in heaven for 15 and a half years. Guess what valley Connie and I still walk through? Guess what valley his brother Joshua walks through? We still walk through the valley of the shadow of death because he's still there in our mind and heart and memories, and we still miss him. And whenever that sadness comes, guess what we think of? Easter. Jesus is risen from the dead. Has my son been dead for 15 and a half years? I far rather will say he has been safe in heaven for 15 and a half years. Thank you, Lord, for your death on the cross for our salvation. And thank you, Lord, for the empty tomb. I know where John is. I know where my mom is. I know where dad is. I know where Sandy is. I know where Bill is. I know where Tony is. I know I have been the officiant in over 1,000 funerals in my ministry. And some of the funerals I've done, they were so close to me, it was like my mom or dad or my brother or my sister. I was that close to them. And many times when I'm standing in front of the Trinity's congregation, being here for 35 years, I look out there and I remember where these people used to sit. And sometimes I get sad until I remember it's Easter that came. And every time I remember that, I celebrate Easter a hundred times a year, not just on that day. I know you're listening to this. I know you've lost a loved one. I know the grief is still there. You have to remember Easter, for it stays with you every moment that you live on this earth. Because I live, John shall live also. In our Savior's name, amen.